Hello students, how are you all? I hope you guys all are well. I am your teacher Mona and today I am going to discuss the past simple tense. So in our previous lecture we have discussed the simple present tense and now it's time to discuss the past simple tense. So what are the tense and what is the use of the past tense? So I have already told about you that past tense is general means that the, we are talking about the past tense and that जो भी हमारा है जो बीत गया है उसको हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं पास्ट टेंस बोलते हैं सो यहाँ पर वैन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट दास्ट टेंस द पास्ट टेंस इन जनरल मीन दैट द पास्ट टेंस ओके नाउ दैट आई वॉज अ स्टूडेंट एंड एंड आई हैड क्वाइट फ्यू फ्रेंड्स दे वेर ऑल वेरी क्लोज टू मी वी डिड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टूगेदर वी वैन टू स्कूल रेगुलरली सो दीज आर द सिंपल पास्ट टेंस एंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सिंपल पास्ट टेंस वॉट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सिंपल पास्ट टेंस the structure is subject plus second form of the verb plus object okay now we have some more so read the following passage english grammar and composition and now answer the questions what verb form is used in the sentence second verb form is used in the sen sentence how are question form just put the was and where before the noun and we can form the frame the question form how are the negative sentences form negative sentences form we need to use not after the was or uh, were or you ju we just need to use did not okay so past form of the verb we used after the subject no auxiliary verb required to the subject in interrogative and negative sentence and now where you is yesterday no i wasn't then why didn't you come to school we had a family picnic so these are the sentences in the past tense now we have interrogative tense are framed by using did auxiliary verb before the subject because whenever we need to use the, the past form or it make the interrogative sentence we just need to use did okay so did as the helping verb and before replacing the noun and after that we have need to use that like uh, <coughs> did not we want to make this sentence in the negative we need need to use did not okay and whenever we need to use that uh, remember that when we did is used in the interrogative and the negative sentence as the main verb becomes the present or the past verb and wasn't is the short form of the was not and didn't is the short form of the did not okay like we have some more things now i was sick last week he was my best friend and he were very happy now these, these are the simple uh, past tenses and you just and don't need to uh, bother yourself by the tenses so they just simply learn and you will understand that to what are the tenses now write sentences in the past simple tense with the following verbs okay night night phoned meet invited bought attended and happen so by using these words just to make the past simple tense okay like phoned i phoned him but he didn't reply okay met i met him yesterday invited he invited me to the party bought i bought a pen yesterday attended i have attended the marriage party yesterday or two two days ago it happened uh, it happened before okay so read the following sentences again and notice head and answer the question we had a nice garden we never had a car we they did not have much money and how many pens did you have so had is the past form of the has or have okay so whenever we need to use the sentence in the past form okay that had happened yesterday or sometimes ago sometimes before sorry so these are called the past perfect tense and in the past perfect tense we need to use had okay as the helping verb or as the main verb now we need to use complete the sentences okay now it rained all day yesterday a r a i n d okay used what r a i n d second form of the verb it rained yesterday 
did you dash the party did you enjoy okay his father died 10 years ago why are you angry okay i did not have any such idea he why we are using have here because with the did we need to use the uh, present form of the verb okay he dash me how to swim so he taught me the second form of the teach is the taught okay how long did you stay here stay my mother is a teacher how is the weather yesterday how was it is talking about the past that why we are using the was last week i catch cold i caught i caught by cold or i caught cold so these are the sentences in the simple past tense now we need to use the past continuous tense so whenever we need to use the past continuous tense that in the present continuous tense we generally used present tense is simply noun the is mr plus first form of the verb with ing plus object in the same way in the present past continuous tense we just change the helping verb okay subject plus was where plus first form of the verb with ing plus object everything is the same but in the past continuous tense we just need to understand that it is the talking about the past so we need to use the was where as a helping verb okay like it was raining lightly it was sitting tea is stall side by the road i was taking tea okay everything in the, is the past continuous tense so try to understand that what is the past continuous tense and what are you doing in the evening yesterday i wasn't doing anything in a particular where are you studying not at all i was calling you but you are not responding so please try to understand that how can we identify the concept how can we identify or how can we understand that what the concept is talking about okay so these are the simple past to continuous tense and we need to use some appropriate words in the fill in the blanks at at o'clock mother was cooking cooking the dinner okay i was then take a bath okay dimya was taking a bath dimya was getting ready to go out you made you made a phone or or we can say you were made a phone call what did they do then okay it means unhone uske baare mein kya kiya so this is the present continuous tense now we have the a present continuous and the, uh, we had the uh, past perfect tense now we have the future simple tense what is the structure of the simple future tense the simple future tense is just talking about that uh, it will the work will be done in the near future like i have no money in my pocket what shall, what shall do i now i do now or will you please give me a try now here, here you are thank you i will repay the loan tomorrow this will be fine so please notice is notice that will we are using the will or the shall in the sentences so these sentences are just simply simple future tense and the structure of the simple future tense is subject plus past form of the verb plus object so please try to understand each and everything okay that the underlined sentence refers to the future action will you sleep now no when will you sleep then i will sleep then on 10 o'clock i will write an email when will you write the email what are you writing or what will you write so write a few sentences on this kind of the words so you can make the sentences by on yourself and now we have the unit third articles so we have completed our first unit and we have completed the tense so i hope you guys are not facing difficulty 
to understand that what I am talking about, what are the sentences, what are the tenses, and uh, what is the importance of the vocabulary. So, this is the easy for you. Now, for today, we have done our exercises and we have solved this issue. Now, we have the articles. So, what is the use of the articles? Everybody knows that we have three types of the articles, A and or D. So, but what is the use of the articles? It is the important thing. Okay, so you just need to understand that the use of the article. Like we have something in this room. Bad. Okay, curtains. Now, just read this passage. This is Asma Ahmed's bedroom. Okay, the room is very neatly made. It has a bed with pillows, cushion and colorful flowery bed cover. There is a rug in front of the bed with another big cushion. An excellent painting of the sea is hanging from the wall while another small painting is kept on the top of the right side table. The room is rocking chair and the sofa in the left corner. The windows are covered with heavy curtains and can you see a mask somewhere around the bed? The bold words in the passage are examples of the articles in the English. So articles like this is I uh, Ashma Ahmed's room the room is the very neatly made it has a bed with pillows cushion and a colorful flowery bed cover there is a rung in front of the bed or an excellent painting or what we have is kept on the top of the right the room Okay, it's rocking chair and a sofa at the left corner. The windows are covered with the large heavy curtain. Can you see the mask somewhere around the bed? So A and B are the articles and what is the use of the articles? So whenever we talk about the articles, that articles generally use uh, in the many ways and the criteria is very broad. So we have so many situations we can use the articles. But simply we can say whenever we talking about that particular thing or that is only one in the world. So we need to use the preceding uh, and before this particular thing. And whenever we need to use uh, talk about the single or talk about the only one, we need to use a or the words sounds the volume, sounds like the vowels called the vowel sound. If they are... Uh, giving the vowel sound, we need to use and before this kind of the nouns. But please be careful because uh, while using the nouns, because nouns are the very important thing and the articles, the very important thing. So you just need to understand that what are the articles and how can we use the articles in the different different situations. Okay, and using the article in the different situation, you will be able to understand this point also after few days okay now we have some examples like we use a uh, and to talk we use to talk about something for the first time don't use a uh, and okay a bed a bed cover a rug a rocking chair a sofa a mask we also use a and to refer something okay now, A is used before the consonant. A is used when the vowel U pronounced U university. And is used before the concept. But the concept, if the first H of the word is silent. And our, an honest man. Okay. So, generally we use this kind of the phrases also. And we use the, when we refer something for the second time. This is Ashma Ahmed's room. The room is very neatly made. So, Whenever we need to talk about the particular thing that is already talk, uh, talk about, talked in this sentence, so we need to use, emphasize our se sentence or emphasize our words. We need to use the again, okay? And when we talk about the fam world famous thing, we need to use the, okay? And we use then, we refer to any person and object, especially there are few windows in the room and the windows are covered with large, heavy curtain the windows because here we are talking about the particular windows not any kind of the windows so it is talking about when the particular windows or the any kind of the particular thing 
we need to use D. Okay. Now we have in the second sentence, the windows are the specific in the sentence or we need to use the to refer something that has no alternative. The sun is the source of the energy. So we have many kinds of the articles, but we need to understand the use of the articles. Okay, so it is the important thing that what is the use of the articles. Do you like banana? Hmm, not exactly. Would you like to have, the, uh, have a banana now? Since you don't have anything else and I am hungry, so yes, please. Which uh, the banana would you like to have? Your which type of banana? Which kind of banana? The local banana. Okay. So here we have some table. We need to solve this. Here are few things the people generally like or dislike. Think about them and make your own statement. An example is given for you. I usually don't like apples because they aren't fresh. But yesterday the apple I ate was so fantastic. Now we need to use this kind of the words and make the sentences. So please try to make the sentences because make sentences make your practice strong. Now we have this one clean the blanks with A and or D. And if you don't need to use the article, just to cross. Okay, so let's start and let's have a look of this exercise. What we need to do? We need to do that dash motor vehicles and dash greenhouses cause pollution and it damages dash environment. So what we can see the motor vehicles okay the motor vehicles and the greenhouses cause pollution and it damages the environment okay d d d all pollutions are bad but the pollution we cause in the water in the water is perhaps the worst or I love watching movies. Don't use any kind of the article. You don't need it. I love watching movies. The movies are good source of the entertainment. Last week I saw a movie, Troy. It was fantastic. Honesty and sincerity are two great qualities of the human life. Okay. Don't use any article. Honesty and sincerity are the two great qualities in human life. However, sometimes it appears that the honesty, okay, the honesty and the sincerity our farmers are showing the everyday are not evaluated. I am a food tester. I like even the food of small ethnic groups. Last time the food I tried in Rangmati or Kargachi were great so and world is yet to ensure the food for all the world is yet to ensure the food for all my brother brother is studying history and his special interest are the history of the farao and the history of the post communist era don't use any article in this so we have used the articles A and D and it is the most common thing that if we are talking about that particular thing and that is no alternative we need to use D or A and D we need to use just when uh, are talking about the single thing or the single idea or the single person. So it is the uh, basic idea of the uh, articles and using the articles and now we will move and Make, uh, make our understanding better with the articles. Okay, so explain to what all those people do and follow the pattern given here. A writer person who writes the books or articles. Writers are person who write books or articles. And we have writer, farmer, tour guard, pilot, cabin crew, nurse, teacher and just to make the sentence. Okay, so this is the basic thing. If you want to do, you can do it. Now we have some more examples. Now, now write two sentences using A and in the one sentence. 
okay and using the in the order so just skip this exercise and if you want to do you can do okay two friends are talking talking to each each, uh, each other read their conversation and fill in the gaps with a and or d or the cross okay like just have a look of this exercise also if you have if you have flu do you go to the bed if you have flu do you go to the bed or you continue your study as well horrible flu sorry i usually go to i usually go to but this time i had to study as the exam was very near Sara, we meet each other after a long time. Let's celebrate. Would you like to eat the lunch at nearby as restaurant? And would you like to eat lunch? So just skip this. Would you like to eat lunch at nearby restaurant or go to the posh one? Go to the posh one. Mary, let's go to the one. We explored the last time because here they is talking about the particular one. Okay, how do you like to earn, learn English? Do you go to the specialist? Okay, teacher or you prefer coaching sentence? Coaching sentence or you prefer the coaching sentence or you prefer the coaching sentence? The teachers in my school, all teachers in my school are fluent as well as helpful. I also watch the English channel. Here we need to use the in the both sentences. Okay, how do you go to your school? By by CNG, skip. Okay, or by the CNG. Or the rickshaw or on the bus. Okay, here we are using the the, the, the to all the three planks because we are talking about that particular thing. That's why we are using D. Read the following text, follow the use of the articles, and if they are correct, put the tick mark. Okay, so what do you have a reservation or do you have reservation? Just skip it. Okay. Oh, yes. My name is Jonathan Gong. You have booked a table for six. Okay. It is the correct. And yes, but I, but can I have a larger table, please? A table for eight. Larger table, please. A table for that. The table for the that eight. The table in the north is booked for you and it can accommodate and person. Now we need to understand the table in the north. So it is talking about the particular table. That's why we are using D. That's great. Would you like would you like the drink first? Okay. Or don't use our drink first. D drink. Yes, water please. And may I have the menu, please? A menu. It is nothing. Okay. When I have the menu, please. So just use the D. The menu is just to decide the napkins. The menu is just to decide the napkins. It is correct. And okay, please give us the fried rice, the mutton kebab, the vegetable with chicken nuts and chicken sizzling. So okay, please go give us fried rice. Don't use the give us fried rice, mutton kebab and vegetable with chicken. Don't use the. Okay, would you like the dessert or would you like dessert? So, would you like dessert? Don't use any kind of the article. An ice cream for each. An ice cream, okay. By the way, manager is known to me. Can I speak to him? He is not there. You can speak to a floor supervisor. So, this exercise is also done. I hope you guys are getting my point and the exercise that I am doing, you guys are easily understood that what I am doing and 
what is the concept of doing anything okay now we have another exercise read the following text and fill in the blank spaces with appropriate articles like my father is a fisherman okay fill with a a and we live in the coastal area every day my father goes to the sea with some other fishermen sometimes they go early in the morning sometimes they go early in the morning and come back at late night sometimes they do not return for the couple of days the group did not return do not return the couple of days and the most joyful moment fill the in the both sentences now we need to understand this concept also just a second now the couple of days and the most joyful moment in our life is when we hear the voice of our father when we hear the voice because it is talking about the particular voice okay of our father at the end of the day often he comes back with some fresh fishes for us we pass time in anxiety and when kal bo kal hoi shakhi comes this don't use any kind of the article and when kal hoi shakhi comes any natural disaster is terrible I, every year some of our near and dear ones are washed away by the sea they are the victims either of the cyclones either of cyclones of tidal surge or kalboi saki here using the d because it is talking about the natural disaster our women are very brave and so are we we say goodbye to the man every day and don't know when they will back yet we wait sometimes we wait for the whole life this is the life of the fisherman this passage is explaining the life of the fisherman so it is done and now we have another exercise like just wait for a moment look at the words in the text and see the different types of the possessive and the following now we have the pronouns so we are talking about the pronouns and we already have discussed the pronouns so it is the unit for possessives okay so before starting the other unit possessives i want to give you the review of our today's chapter that what we have learned today okay so this is the important thing and we will discuss it later so today we have discussed the articles articles is the most important tense and most important topic in our english grammar so whenever we need to use the articles articles just whenever we need to use uh, the famous thing or whenever we talk about the uh, thing that is not, uh, only the one or the no alternative that is called the uh, we need to use the okay and before the superlative degree also we need to use the and uh, when we talking about it any particular thing we need to use d or when your word is started with the consonant you can use a and when it is started with the vowels you can use n these are the simple basic rules of the articles but these rules are not enough you need to understand the concept you need to Uh, solve the exercises because if you solve the exercise more and more, it will be easy for you to make remember everything. 
and it is be easy for you to not only the math remember not only the remember but also to understand the concept because understanding the concept is the most important thing so it is done for today now it's up, uh, time to wrap up our uh, wrap up our class and uh, this is done for today but before going i want to give the introduction of the possessive so what are the possessive when we talk about the possessive they are just a part of the pronoun we have the possessive pronoun like the possessive pronouns of the he is the him the the possessive pronoun of the they is them and i versus me okay he versus him or you versus you or they versus their so their here ours yours are the possessive pronouns okay and the possessive so this is the simple excellent simple introduction of the possessive okay and we will learn this chapter in uh, possessive in our next class i hope you guys are easily understood that what are the possessive and what are the articles and how can we use the articles and what are the sentences so it is done for today and uh, i will catch you tomorrow with the another video lecture till then you guys can keep watching keep learning till then bye bye